friends, welcome back. It is still Monday, October 16th, 2023. In the Drunk Poker, tis beer time. We're sticking with the West. And the return of another favorite sawdust city brewing from brewer Jonathan Park, who was doing the brew on two pad the other day. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Good job. No, seriously. It's great guy. Great guy. You know, tolerated all our nonsense, and I love him for it. Uh, way back, play back. Uh, 5.8%, 5.8%, 5.8% West Coast IPA, brewed with Amarillo Cascade once again, and Centennial. So we had like the Super Centennial beer last night, and that uh, Bell's Brewery beer, and you know, just inspired me today, I'm like, we're going all West Coast, because even that Wellington beer earlier today could be considered West Coast-ish, right? But uh, I love this beer, man, I love sawdust beers, they have such a... A wide variety of styles, which I think they know they have to do. Like, you're, you're in cottage country, you're in that kind of, you know, you want to have something for anybody that comes into the saloon, man. You know, like, we were drinking mixed fermentation beers, and Sammy uh, was nice enough to go grab Catherine in a little Norway, because she doesn't like them. That's not, not her thing, and she tries them. She says they taste like feet. Like, how do you know what feet taste like? That's a weird reference, isn't it? I know. Anyways, let's get into this. Welcome back to Wayback Playback, available for delivery for a limited time. Well, until we drink it all, right? Cheers. So, you know, once again, this is our third West Coast IPA today because we have a headstock to start the day for Headstocktober, and then we had the, the one from Fairweather, and now we're getting into Wayback Playback. This is a more fruit-forward and definitely a higher resinous pine at the back end, all inside of that kind of toasty mall body. But this definitely hits the notes, that kind of grapefruit and orange pith, and that bitter resinous pine at the back, still eminently balanced, right? They find that balance, and that's one of the things I think I've always loved about West Coast IPAs and, and, and that they've gotten into, and especially the last years I found myself drifting more and more into the style and and like you know you go back and forth in things you know I you know get into lagers for a while or you get into dark beers for a while and I keep coming back to this style because it's different it's challenging um and it's just big and bitter and I freaking love it right it helps you stay alive is what I say arf arf indeed arf arf indeed it's a beautiful beer it's a little cold though so you Fat guy, just kind of lean on your hands there. Get that beer belly working for you. Listen, uh, two pad stack's going to come out in like a month, and I'm going to be stoked. But I also want to celebrate all the other great beers that Sawdust makes because they do. I was uh, having getting to make a beer with them is a dream come true. Not something I ever thought would happen. And just to get to do it for absolutely no reason other than Sammy just wanted to brew a beer with us, that's fabulous. It takes me to the way back playback, baby. It's a great beer. Get yourself some West Coast IPAs from Sada City. Lots of other styles, too. But trust me, add this one to your list. Cheers. That's just a good beer, man. And good beer, good beer. And you know good beer? You're making some good peoples there, too, eh? 